In this video, we'll be talking about statements of similarity and proportional segments. Now recall that when two triangles are similar, the corresponding angles are congruent and the corresponding sides are proportional. When two triangles are similar, the statement of similarity indicates those corresponding angles and corresponding sides. For example, we can see that angle A and angle D correspond. So that means that angle A here and angle D have to line up in the statement of similarity. Also, I have a one arc in angle C and one arc in angle F. So those angles also correspond, so C and F. are in the same spot in the similarity statement. And then angle B is not marked, and angle E is not marked either. So that means those two middle positions are in the corresponding parts. So we can see then that if I take the first two letters on this statement, and the first two letters over on this one, then I should have line segment AB corresponding to line segment DE. So that's AB is here, the vertical side, and DE is the vertical side here. So those do correspond. Also, if I take BC, which is the last two letters on this statement, and EF, BC is my hypotenuse on this triangle, and EF is the hypotenuse on this one, so they correspond. And then finally, if I take the first and last letter, AC, that's my base, and the first and last letter here, DF, that's my base. So it's helpful to be able to look at the similarity statement so let's look at a problem. We're asked to write statements of similarity for the three triangles in the figure below. So we can see that we have this one big right triangle. I'm going to separate these. Make my big one. And it's A. B, C. And then on the left side, I have a right triangle. So let me draw that one over here. And its vertices are A, B, and E. Then on the right side, I have a right triangle. And its vertices are B, D, and C. So now let's look at these. I can see that between these two, triangles. Angle A is shared by both, and then leaving B and C as my unmarked angles, but those would have to be congruent as well. So let me put double marks in those. So my statement of similarity between these two triangles would be triangle ABD is similar to triangle. So angle A, I have angle A, this one. For angle B, I have C. And 
corresponding to angle D would be angle B. So that's for these two triangles. Now let's look at these two. I have my right angles, B and angle D. This time I see angle C is the angle that they share, so let me double arc angle C. And then that leaves angle B, which has to match up with A. So if I write on this one, then um, I had ACB here for this. So let me just connect this one onto that. Matching up with angle A, which is the single arc, and angle B. And then matching up with angle C, which is the double arc, C. And then uh, corresponding to angle B, which is the right angle, I have D. So my statements of similarity for these three triangles in this original figure 